What is going on, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Chopper. I hope you're having a great start to your weekend, and it is about to get a little bit better because I'm about to break down my favorite prize picks plays for the Saturday NBA slate, and we've got two games, not just one to talk about today, two games. So I'm going to pull some of the data up from our site on the screen, and if you guys are interested in signing up for our Pick'em package, which is going to include projections for prize picks, no house advantage, and underdog, we have all that bundled together, and you can get access to it for as cheap as $5 when you sign up using the link that we have below. And if you haven't signed up at Prize Picks yet, we also have a link that you could sign up for, which is going to get you up to a $100 bonus on your first deposit. In addition to that, you're going to get one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum, so covering all of the tools. So we have over at Stochastic.com for every single DFS sport out there. We've got you covered player projections, ownership projections, and even more. It can help you build some profitable DFS lineups. Now, let's talk about Prize Picks. And yeah, two games and... Uh, better than what we've been dealing with with a lot of these one-game slates, and there is some value on the board as well. So I'm going to be looking at our projections here and then also highlighting some of the ones that stand out the most to me in these projections. And starting with our number one projected prop of the day, and I agree with it, it is over four assists for Austin Reeves. Something else that stands out about Austin Reeves is if you just compare this line to what you're looking at at most sports books. Sportsbooks actually generally like FanDuel has the line at four and a half. So pretty big difference. 4.0 is the line on Austin Reeves compared to four and a half at most sports books. And then also you just look at the assist numbers for Austin Reeves as of late. And the last couple of weeks talking about a six game sample size, averaging 4.5 assists over the last month. So 12 games talking about basically the entire playoffs there. Austin Reeves is averaging 4.3 assists. Low line here, especially when you consider these games against the Warriors should be high scoring throughout the series. So Austin Reeves over four assists. We have projected for 5.32. I could certainly get behind that. The next one that I want to look at here is LeBron James. And uh, I know maybe a lot of people don't feel great about taking an under with LeBron in some of these playoff scenarios, but it, he hasn't actually played really the upper bound amount of minutes that I thought he could in a lot of these playoffs games. Last game was a blowout, so he played 28. But game before that, he played 40, which I think is about a reasonable expectation for LeBron, somewhere around 40 minutes. And for the season, and this is including every game of the year, so regular season playoffs, he's playing 36 minutes per game and averaging 8.5 rebounds. So right around where we have LeBron projected out today, 8.4 rebounds, something else to consider as well. I expect that Kevon Looney is going to be a little bit healthier. I think he's going to be back in the starting lineup, and he has been a force under the glass. So he should be picking up a lot of those rebounds just in general. Also, Anthony Davis has been a massive rebounder as of late. I don't know that LeBron James reliably gets to double digit, double digit rebounds. So not really a knock on him to say that we haven't projected for about eight and a half rebounds, but nine and a half, just a touch too high there. Steph Curry, over five and a half rebounds. Steph Curry, very underrated rebounder. And I don't really know that he gets the respect that he deserves as a rebounder, particularly at his size, because for the season, Steph Curry is averaging right around six rebounds per game, and he's doing that in less minutes than what he's playing in the playoffs. In some of these close playoff games, we've seen Steph Curry play 42, 43 minutes. Didn't have to last game because the game was so lopsided, but considering the series is now tied at one apiece, I do think we are going to see Steph Curry get back to playing those 42, 43-minute games that he played against the Kings. If for the season, he averaged six rebounds per game in mid-30s minutes. And now we're giving him 40 plus minutes. Stands the reason that he should be projected for north of five and a half rebounds. We have him at 6.6. .6. One other prop I want to highlight, and it's also the next top one that we have projected. Jimmy Butler, under 27 and a half points. This is entirely due to the health of Jimmy Butler. I think there's a wide range of outcomes. There's a lot of variants with Jimmy Buckets today. And it's just because he looked so bad the other day after he sprained his ankle. I know it's been a bunch of time off. He's gotten, what, five days off of rest to get himself a little bit healthier. But the last time we saw Butler on the court, he was basically immobile. He was standing in the corner on offense. And as the team was running their offensive sets, Jimmy Butler was actually just standing in the corner, taking like practice shots, but without a ball where he was just kind of air shooting and just to prepare in case somebody passed him the ball. And the one shot he took, he didn't have any lift. He ended up airballing the three. So I don't know how healthy Jimmy Butler is going to be. If the line was 27 and a half, I think that would be about fair if he's totally healthy. And now we're adding in the potential that he's going to be, what, 70%, 60%. It seems at, at, at best he can't be 100% today. So 
I'm going to be shorting Jimmy Butler today. I like him for uh, under 27 and a half points. We can project for 24.83. And like I said, too, a little bit of variance here considering the injury to Jimmy Butler. So those are my four top plays of the day on prize picks, all ones that project well for us. Austin Reeves over four assists. LeBron James under nine and a half rebounds. Steph Curry over five and a half rebounds. And Jimmy Butler under 27 and a half points. And once again, if you guys want access to all of these tools, head on over to our website, head on over, well, click the link below. Actually, it's probably going to be the easiest way. And you could get access when you sign up for the first time, all of our projections here for less than $5, including uh, prize picks or NBA projections. So go check that out. And if you want to sign up at prize picks for the first time, use the link that we have below that is going to get you one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. Or if you just want to use a promo code, you could use the promo code GREGOS for up to a $100 bonus on that first deposit. That is going to do it for me. If you haven't done yet, like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Enjoy the games today, everybody, and have a great weekend.